Hello everyone, welcome back to 366 Days of Hope. My name is Pearl and I'm here to share our next topic which is healthy relationships are difficult. And for anyone who has had trauma growing up as a child, it is so difficult for traumatized individuals to believe that the relationship that they are in is possibly going to work out and or that the person that they are with is truly genuine to them because they have not ever really experienced those type of individuals so their you know perspective on the world is that those people don't exist or those um, people only exist in other relationships just not mine or I'm not worthy to experience those type of relationships because that's what I have been told all my life. In the previous video, I did talk a lot about overcoming and not passing on our traumas, but this is more of addressing an understanding if you have met somebody or if you are wanting to have a relationship with somebody that you know has had trauma in their past, how do you handle being with a person who is um, in that state of mind and you want to develop a healthy relationship with them. It is not going to be easy. It is very, very difficult. Healthy relationships are hard. And the reason why it's hard for the person who's traumatized is because imagine for yourself that as a child, you were responsible in laying bricks down and you have all this brick that you've been laying down and these bricks are representative of you know, barriers that are gonna be set between you and the other person and these bricks are literally laid out in such a way that they're blocking their access to the person on the other side. And say that there's this you know, hole in this brick where they're communicating with you and what they hear and what they could possibly see through this through this maybe small window, maybe it's cracked open enough for them to see your face. And you have been communicating with them all this time of this beautiful, amazing love. And inside of them, they, there's this yearning that they're like, oh my gosh, I wanna be close to this person. I want to be able to have what they have. I want to know what this person feels for me. And they're trying to come through this little tiny hole to reach you. But they're surrounded by all these bricks in which they have laid for years and years of their lives. And now they have to come in and you've passed them a sledgehammer to knock out more bricks so they can start seeing the love that you have for them because they can't see it. Now imagine if you're gonna have to smash those bricks down, all the debris that will have to fall. And the possibility that in the process of doing it, they will end up getting hurt because they have to smash it down themselves. You cannot do it for them. That is what it's like for people who are traumatized, wanting to be healthy and why it's so difficult for them. But once the dust clears and the rubble has been pushed aside, that is when they will experience the freedom. Being patient with them and loving on them is all honestly the other person on the other side can do. It is going to be the person who has experienced trauma to take it upon themselves to make those um, important movements to heal and be able to establish a healthy relationship. And it is not easy. It is a daily, yearly work to be able to get that to that point of healing. But it's all worth it in the end because when you get to that point where you have been able to step over the rubble. You have been able to see that, wow, this other side of love, this other concept of love that I 
knew I heard people talk about through this little hole that I had once had or I peered through and I could see love on the other side. I'd wanted that, I just didn't know if I deserved it or if maybe this, you know, barrier I've created was all that I, there whatever was and will be for me. It is when you reach that point that loving becomes natural for you. It becomes second nature because you've been taught how to love immensely. And I truly believe that just like that story, and it's probably one of my favorite stories in the Bible of the demoniac who is on the shore and Jesus steps onto that shore and this wild man who has been shackled and yet broke those shackles multiple times, has scratches all over his body, has cuts all over his body, his hair has probably overgrown, his nails overgrown, he looks absolutely hideous. And yet in that inkling, that moment, he saw, he saw the hope. He saw through that little thing called his eyes, love and he ran to it. He ran to that and desperately wanted healing. And when those demons were cast out of him into the swine and he was in his right mind again, I truly believe that restoration, that type of total restoration where he was in his right mind, where he knew true freedom, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, that is exactly the freedom that God wants for us. And when we experience it, it is absolute joy, absolute joy to know that you can just pour love into people and allow that love to really just be. And that's something I definitely feel like I've been working on and it's still a challenge at times, but the thing is you keep chipping away at those bricks until all of it eventually is broken down and you can step over into fully immersing in the love. And even if it is all that hard work, like I said, it will pay off and it's worth it because then we will pass on our traumas to the next generation. Guys, thank you so much for watching and if this video or any other videos have helped, please feel free to share and subscribe. And I hope to share more on just the beautiful things that I'm personally learning in my own marriage and in just discussing marriage in general with other people, but realizing that marriage is like fitness. You have to practice. You have to constantly use those spiritual muscles, physical muscles, emotional muscles, mental muscles to teach the muscles to do them the right way. And just like we can exercise our muscles to, to move a certain way, we can actually teach our muscles to move the wrong way. And so we would need to be rehabilitated to change the way our bodies move and to strengthen other parts of our body to be able to allow us to function a lot better. And it's the same way with our relationships. They need practice. And all the opportunities given to us to practice love, to practice confidence, like that is pr it's practice at its finest. And we have to just constantly do it so it becomes a part of our character and a part of our nature. Well guys, I hope that encourages you, and with that said, may you live, thrive, and be healthy. Take care. Bye!